All right, here's part two. I'm gonna start it, go for a little drive. As you guys notice, the speedometer and the RPM, um, we're missing a couple lights right there. It kind of bothers me, but it's an easy fix. But like I said, I mean, it's a new car. Start how you start your normal new car, and you'll be set. You've got a voltage uh, readout, uh, odometer, engine temp, fuel percentage, obviously back to your oil pressure, uh, which is very important. So we're at 72 degrees temp, holding 50 pounds of pressure about. And uh, you've got your air conditioning settings all here, and the switch right here for the compressor to turn on the air conditioning compressor. And down below here, you've got your uh, diagnostic port, another 12 volt uh, receptacle. It's just really nice. White as a mouse. Now the exhaust on it is uh, it's quiet at idle. You can barely hear the sing at idle until you start giving a little bit of throttle. Once you give a little bit of throttle, you should make some noise. Uh, there are a couple of drip marks around the car. That's just from water coming off, but I'd rinse it off. Um, this thing doesn't leak a drop of anything. Right here in front, got a little lock here. When the hood's shut, you can swing the lever from the bottom, put a padlock on it so nobody can uh, open your hood. Did I happen to mention that this car has cruise control? Hard to see from here, but the uh, turn signal lever has the uh, set coast resume buttons all there for driving her around on cruise control. So let's go ahead and take her for a ride. You know, of course, like any 45 year old vehicle, you might have a rattle or a squeak here and there but that's the joy of owning a nice piece of American history you can hear the exhaust definitely makes some noise but when you want to pull in late at night she's quiet oh Yes, and we've got uh, keyless entry, which is pretty cool. There's the uh, antenna for the keyless. But uh, I wouldn't hesitate to get in this car right now and drive to California. I mean, she just goes down the road so nice. It's a beautiful thing. Stoplight, jamming on the brakes. Single stop on a dime. Back at idle here, it's nice and quiet. And your uh, oil change sticker. Oil was changed at 25,220. We're at 25,545. That was a seatbelt falling over. But yeah, she gets up and goes. For a nice little 5.3 uh, and a heavy, heavy vehicle. Well, there you guys go. I don't want to make the video too long. I know I've rambled on enough, but if you guys are looking for a nice driver, something that's comfortable, not perfect, has its share of imperfections, definitely uh, a work in progress. Maybe a little bit of a project car for the winter time to finish up some things, but uh, definitely something different. More than likely, won't see another one at a car show the same way. All right, guys, thanks a lot.